All right, so we're in Detroit, Michigan this week, as you can see, uh, but this week I wanna talk about feeling behind in life. And I know a lot of people have made videos on this, but I wanted to make one this week talking about feeling behind in life even when you feel like you're doing all the right things. So you're reading all the books, you're doing all the self-help, you're working on yourself, you're putting in work at the gym, you're doing all the right things and you still feel like you're behind everybody else. You feel like you're doing the same stuff and you're behind. I'm gonna talk about what I feel like it was for me and how I was doing all this stuff but I still felt behind and I still felt like I wasn't getting ahead. So it was 2018, I had just started working on myself. I started going to the gym, I started reading self-help books, I started taking care of myself and actually working on myself to become a better person. And at first it was super great. I had a lot of self-growth, I gained a lot of confidence, I felt great about myself, but after a while it felt like it plateaued and I wasn't fully sure what was happening after a while but I think a lot of people who read self-help books and are working on themselves working on their self-improvement are gonna understand what I mean when I say the books feel like they're saying the same things over and over after a while you know you could probably take a stack of a hundred self-help books and really confine them down to 15 ones that tell you what you need to know out of the hundred after a while you're just kind of fishing for motivation and new ways to phrase things to motivate you to get it done and that's not really the most productive way to go about things the thing I think I realized after a while is that the reason I still felt behind is because I was just reading these books to read them. And I think this is the mistake a lot of people make. They read the self-help books, they go to the motivational speeches, they watch the motivational YouTube videos, they listen to people online telling them what they should do, and that's all they do. I think this is where a lot of people fall short. And I've definitely been doing this for a couple years now, I'm gonna call myself out. I've been reading all the self-help books, doing all the self-help things, and I realized after a while that I was just reading them to read them. I would read them, I'd feel good about them, and I'd pretty much just agree with them and be like, yeah, that's exactly what I should be doing. But I wasn't actually applying it. So that's what this video is actually about today. I wanna to say to all the people on this channel, like if you're coming to this channel for advice or you're coming for anything and you're not taking action, then you're actually not extracting any value from these videos. And I'm not saying my videos are like the best videos on the internet that you should be listening to, but I'm saying if you come to this channel regularly and you watch these videos, then you're probably going to other places looking for similar videos. And if you're not applying any of the actions that they suggest, then you're not actually extracting any value from the videos. And you're not actually extracting any value from the self-help books, or you're not extracting any of the value from the advice your friends give you, the motivational speeches you go to, or anything else. It's your job to take advice and extract the value. Just taking an advice and knowing what you should be doing is not actually a value thing to do. Knowledge in and of itself does not create any value. Application of the knowledge does create value. So I don't want to drive this idea into the ground because the sun's setting and I had to finish this video really quick, but it's your job to extract the value from the things you do, the things you seek, and the things you want in life. If you don't apply anything, then there's no value in it. And I know somebody watching this video knows all the things that they should be doing. I know you know. And I also know you know deep down every day that you're not actually doing the things that you know you should be doing. And as a caveat, I say should here in the sense that you should be doing them to get where you want to be. And of course, wanting things and desiring things is a whole different video I could touch on, but a lot of people want things in life. And if you want something, you need to behave in the ways that align with it. You need to shape your now so that it lands on the future you want. And knowing a bunch of good things and being able to give people advice isn't gonna get you there. If you've read books on starting a business and you haven't started a business, then what was the point of the books? If you've watched YouTube videos about making YouTube videos and you haven't made a YouTube video, then what was the point of watching those videos? I know this one's super short. I actually took a bus over the Golden Gate Bridge and I f***ed up and I had to come back and now the sun's setting and I don't really have time to film this video, but, um, yeah, I'm actually in San Francisco. If you actually thought I was in Detroit, Michigan, you're probably f***ing stupid. <laughs> but that's about it for today. Before the sun sets, I want to take a picture of myself because I'm a tourist here. I just wanted to share this tidbit of information because I think somebody needs to hear it because I needed to hear it. And um, I hope it helps. That's about it. I can't even get to my phone. Oh, hang on. I got this on Wi-Fi.